better. No, I mean, it, you it's think not, you have it, a grappling, like you think you have a submission, but jumping back and muscle fucking it, it certainly doesn't do any good. I mean, you gotta be really technical and smart. And especially when you're like in the, in the cage too. I mean, it, everything changes because everybody, you're slippery. I mean, they don't want to talk about that kind of stuff, but you're so slippery. And um, there's more nerves and there's more at stake because there's a crowd and they want to see entertaining moves. So you think, let's do a crazy arm bar jump and that'll get the crowd going. But really, either you're, you're choosing the crowd or you're choosing the win. You're like, what do you, do you want? Do you want crowd pleasing or do you want to win? That's the thing you got to choose. And it's like that wrist thing where like, I thought doing the jumping arm bar was like, the crowd's gonna love it, but the guy got out. And I was like, oh shit, like you said, he got a couple hits on me, but I, I, I had to wrestle again. And I had to start from scratch again, which was like tiring. So I had to go from scratch, get him back down. And I basically made myself, I created five more extra steps, which I didn't need, honestly. So it's just finding that little moment like that and taking advantage of the mount is so important. So yeah, it's just such an important position, oh my God. And all of this MMA, Grappling, jiu-jitsu, combat jiu-jitsu, whatever the hell you do, MMA, kickbox, I mean, whatever. The mount is so important. You gotta stay there. Wait, you know. Patience. Yeah, cause being, cause like, like you know, being the tough guy in the cage was like, it was cool to be a tough guy, people liked that, but as you saw, I, I, I attempted two submissions, I didn't finish both of them, cause I was doing the tough guy version of it. I was doing the tough guy ch choke where I was like cranking on the guy. But I mean, it looks cool. Like I said, you, you, it increases the plow because like the crowd's like, oh my God, he's gonna break his arm. But you just jump in the air. You just, the guy just got two inches away from you. He's more safer. If you did like the born, you know, it's not boring, but it's technical. You sit there, you stay on top and you just stretch his arm. It's not a flashy jump in the air one, but it works though. And that's what I got to start learning is those tiny little moments right there. <laughs> not freaking out. Cause yeah, I was a little bit of a crowd. I was a little crowd horn that night, a little bit. That was a little crowd horn, but yeah, that was a good time though. Good class though.